Weather is a part of our everyday lives. Some people look out the window every morning to see what the weather is like. The clothes we wear, the activities we do, and even the place we go depends on the weather that we have on a particular day. But what exactly is weather? Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a particular place during a short period of time. Did you know that weather doesn't just stay in one place? It moves and changes from hour to hour or day to day. There are six main components or elements of weather, and each component is measured using a corresponding weather instrument. But first, let us study the components or elements of weather. Number 1. Temperature Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold the air is. Temperature can differ according to place and time. Meteorologists report temperature in two ways, in Celsius and Fahrenheit. The United States uses the Fahrenheit system, but in other parts of the world, like in the Philippines, Celsius is used. Number 2. Atmospheric pressure Atmospheric pressure is the weight of the atmosphere overhead. Changes in atmospheric pressure signal shifts in the weather. Number 3. Wind Wind is the movement of air. But where does wind come from? Wind is caused by differences of pressure in the Earth's atmosphere. Wind is described by using two main measurements direction and speed. Wind direction is defined as the direction the wind is coming from, while wind speed refers to how fast the wind blows. Number 4. Humidity. Humidity refers to the amount of water vapor in the air. Water vapor is a gas in the atmosphere that helps make clouds, rain, or snow. Number 5. Precipitation Water that falls to earth in any form like rain, snow, sleet, or hail is called precipitation. Number 6. Cloud cover or sky condition Cloud cover refers to the fraction of the sky covered by clouds when observed from a particular location. Cloud cover may also influence temperatures at the surface of the planet. Let us now move on to the weather instruments. Weather instruments are the devices used in measuring the different weather components. Number 1. Thermometer A thermometer measures the air temperature. Most thermometers are closed glass tubes containing liquids such as alcohol or mercury. When air around the tube hits the liquid, the liquid expands and moves up the tube. A scale then shows what the actual temperature is. Number 2. Wind Vane A wind vane is also called a weather vane. It is an instrument that is used for showing the direction of the wind. The four letters E, W, N, and S represent the four directions, east, west, north, and south. Number 3. Anemometer Anemometer is used to measure the speed of the wind. The anemometer usually has three cups, which are fixed on the mobile shaft. When the wind blows fast, it makes the cup spin around faster, and the dial shows the actual speed of wind. The speed of wind gives a lot of information about the weather, like if the speed of the wind is high, it indicates a storm. Number 4. Barometer A barometer is an instrument that is used to measure atmospheric pressure. They provide the measurement in the form of millibars. When the pressure is high, it means that the weather is sunny, and when the pressure is low, it means that it is going to rain. Number 5. Rain gauge The rain gauge helps in measuring the actual amount of rainfall. It is a long and a narrow cylinder, 
which can measure the rainfall up to almost 8 inches. The gauge also measures the precipitation in millimeters. Number 6. Hygrometer Hygrometer is an instrument used to measure the humidity or amount of water vapor in the air. In summary, here are the weather components and the corresponding weather instruments used to measure them. To measure temperature, we use a thermometer. To measure atmospheric pressure, we use a barometer. To measure wind direction, we use wind vane. For wind speed, we use an anemometer. To measure humidity, we use a hygrometer. To measure precipitation, we use a rain gauge. As an additional information, for cloud cover or sky condition, what meteorologists use is a silometer. A silometer is a device for measuring the height of cloud bases and overall cloud thickness. Let's test your understanding of the lesson. Determine the weather instrument needed in each situation. Jack and Jill are flying their kites and they want to know the direction of the wind. Grade 4 pupils were given the task to know the air temperature in their classroom. My grandfather wants to know how fast or how slow the wind is. A weather forecast company wants to know the atmospheric pressure. Kyle wants to measure the amount of rainfall. Good job learners! You now know the different weather instruments and their uses. But why are these important? Weather instruments are used to analyze data collected to help predict future weather patterns. These predictions help us decide what to do or where for the day and provide insight into how the world's climate is changing. Each one of us must be concerned about the weather because Knowing the weather condition helps us to be safe and prepared for dangers and calamities. If this has been helpful, like this video and leave a comment down below. That's all for today and see you in the next lesson!